No referring sitemap detected is very common issue in your search console account. You can see here no referring sitemap detected. So this issue comes when you try to analyze the page from your website. For example, if I go to my search console account and if I enter URL from a website, which is a new page or new blog post, and then you can see no referring sitemap detected, which clearly means this page which we are analyzing here does not exist in the sitemap. What is sitemap? If you guys don't know what is sitemap, sitemap is really important if you want to rank your website. Sitemap is a map of your website which contains all the pages and posts from your website. So now what the first thing you need to do is, you need to go to left sidebar here and click on sitemaps from here. And now we need to check when this was last read. You can see the sitemap was processed last time with Google today, 26th January which is today when I'm making this video. In case if it was not processed recently, it was old sitemap and this new page you created, it's recent page. What you need to do is go to sitemaps and then click on sitemap. And then from here on the right side, three dots, click on these dots and then click on remove sitemap. And then click on remove. So now we need to resubmit a sitemap, which is the fresh sitemap. So if you're using any plugin like Rank Math SEO or Yoast SEO, AI one SEO, all these have sitemap under the URL sitemap underscore index dot XML. Now you need to submit and you can see sitemap submitted successfully. So now when Google will recrawl the website sitemap, when you test this page again, it will be in sitemap. Okay. Usually all the new pages, when you create them on your WordPress website, they by default are added to sitemap. Okay. But there can be few more possible issues. Let's check what the issues and how we can solve them. You need to log in to WordPress website and then in case of rank map SEO, left sidebar, click here on sitemap settings and you can see here your sitemap can be found here under this URL. So you can find your website sitemap URL from here very easily. So now what we need to check here, you see post time, guys, when you go to post time, make sure this including sitemap, this option is enabled. If this is not enabled, your post you are adding on your website, they will not be in sitemap and then you will have this error on your website of no reference sitemap detected. Next thing you make sure all the pages are also included in sitemap and make sure products pages are also included in the sitemap. These are not disabled. You can see some post types like Elementor, Header and Photo Builder. We don't want to add this inside, but these are not pages and posts. They're created by a plugin on the website. So I make sure posts are included in sitemap, pages are included in the sitemap and the products are included in sitemap. And also I prefer to keep categories included in the sitemap, but I do not index the tags in my sitemap because it might give some error of duplicate content on the website. So guys, make sure only categories index. And then also product category should be indexed and then click on save changes. So this is the best setting so that all the pages should be included in the sitemap. Next very important thing you need to check, go to the page in question and then edit the page. And then you can go to SEO, depending on the page builder you're using, it's Elementor so it's on left side here. If you're not using any page builder, it will be on the right side. But you'll find the same options here. So I'm using rank math, so I click on SEO and then click on this icon here and guys make sure it's clicked on index. Sometimes what happened? is clicked on no index. That's why this page is excluded from the sitemap. Make sure this is index. This is really important guys that this page index and then publish changes. Once you make sure all this option are correct, you can come back to search console and click on request indexing. Your page will be indexed. Uh, what else you can do? When the next time Google will crawl your sitemap, it will find this page in the sitemap because we made sure from our SEO plugin the post or page is indexed and also we made sure for the page in question that this is index. So we made sure there's no problem. So now when Google will recrawl, it will index your page on Google search engine. And guys, some people say that you need to make sure it's not blocked in robo.txt. But this issue is not about robo.txt. When you see this issue, it's only about the sitemap. Because when it's blocked by robo.txt, it will written that it's blocked by robo.txt. Right now it's written, no reference sitemap. Let me know if this video helped you out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. I create this kind of useful content for SEOs, Google search console, indexing, ranking, WordPress, web development, blogging, and so many more interesting topics. So if you don't want to miss out on those videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all the notification bell. And if you want to know how to rank number one Google search engine, check this video on the screen.